This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2020. Late diagnosed developmental hip dysplasia or dislocation or DDH is usually treated with two different strategies. The more conservative approach of closed reduction, or CR, or the more assertive approach of open reduction with pelvic osteotomy. The present study compared the total hip arthroplasty, or THA-free survival time and hazard ratio in late diagnosed DDH, diagnosed after 18 months, and treated at 18 to 60 months of age with CR or open reduction and Salter innominate osteotomy, or ORIO. The study cohort included 45 patients, including 58 hips in total, who underwent CR, and 58 patients, including 78 hips in total, who underwent ORIO, with a minimum of 40 years post-reduction follow-up. Results showed that at 48 years of follow-up, 50% of the hips survived after CR when compared to 69% after ORIO. The average time to THA was 38.7 plus or minus 6.5 years after CR and 39.6 plus or minus 4.2 years after ORIO. The survival probability of CR and ORIO groups were 77% and 81% respectively at 40 years and 55% and 63% respectively at 45 years. Interestingly, at the 40-year follow-up, 29% and 14% of the hips treated with CR and ORIO respectively had undergone a THA, and these percentages were found to have doubled to 50% and 31% respectively in the next decade. While the effective age at time of CR or ORIO on the outcome of hips was minimal in patients with unilateral involvement, age was found to significantly alter the relationship between treatment and outcome in bilateral cases. Moreover, additional procedures were indicated for 17% and 22% of hips after CR and ORIO respectively. Thus, the study found that while both treatments improved THA-free survival relative to the natural history for dislocated hips, neither prevented the eventual development of osteoarthritis and the need for THA in the majority of the patients.